हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन टू दी टोटल कॉस्ट कर्व लेट स्टार्ट द लास्ट थ्री कॉलम्स ऑफ द टेबल शो कैरलिन कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग कुकीज सो द लास्ट थ्री कॉलम्स दैट इज कॉस्ट ऑफ फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट ऑफ वर्कर्स एंड लास्ट वन इज टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ इनपुट विच इज कॉस्ट ऑफ फैक्ट्री प्लस कॉस्ट ऑफ वर्कर्स आई कैन ऑल्सो से दैट कॉस्ट ऑफ फैक्ट्री इज फिक्सड कॉस्ट एज यू कैन से इट इज डॉलर थर्टी इन एवरी केस सो इट इज फिक्स कॉस्ट एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ वर्कर्स इज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वेरिएबल cost so fixed cost plus variable cost will become total cost in this example the cost of kellens factory is dollar 30 per hour which is if i am saying cost of kellens factory so this is fixed cost it is dollar 30 per hour okay and the cost of a worker of a of one worker is dollar 10 per hour so basically if she hires one worker her total cost is dollar 40 per hour dollar 30 plus dollar 10 will become dollar 40 if she hires two workers her total cost is dollar 50 per hour and so on so if she hires one worker cost of factory is dollar 30 cost of one worker is dollar 10 we will add them and the total cost is dollar 40 per hour if she hires two workers cost of factory will remain same as it is a fixed cost plus cost of two workers is dollar 20 per hour we will add them and the total cost is dollar 50 per hour and so on for example if she hires three workers cost of factory is same dollar 30 plus and the cost of three workers is a dollar 30 plus total cost is dollar 60 per hour the table shows how the number of workers carlin hires is related to the quantity of cookies she produces and to her total cost of production so the table shows that how the number of workers is related to the quantity of cookies that she produces and to the total cost of production our goal in the next several chapters is to study firms production and pricing decisions and for this purpose the most important relationship in table 1 is between the quantity produced and the total cost this one quantity produced and total cost so if we will plot these uh, two columns as you can see that on the horizontal axis we have plotted quantity of output and on the vertical axis we have taken total cost so when we will um, draw these combinations from the table that when the quantity produced is zero the total cost is dollar 30 अब आप ये भी सोच सकते हैं दैट वेन क्वान्टिटी प्रोड्यूस इज डॉलर इज जीरो दैन हाउ कैन द टोटल कॉस्ट इज पॉजिटिव विच इज डॉलर थर्टी बिकॉज वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज अ फिक्स कॉस्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ फैक्ट्री सो इवन इफ इवन इफ नो यूनिट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड देन ऑल्सो वी विल हैव अ फिक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ डॉलर थर्टी एंड दैट इज अ रीजन डॉलर थर्टी प्लस डॉलर जीरो because no worker is hired number of worker is zero but there is a cost of factory this is a fixed cost so dollar 30 plus 0 is dollar 30 and in the same way the second combination when the number of worker is one then 
the quantity of output is 50 and total cost is 40 so when, when we will uh, plot all these combinations that is 90 50 120 60 140 70 we have to plot all these combinations okay and after plotting these combinations this one after plotting these combinations we will join them and what we will get the total cost curve now compare the total cost curve with the production function so as you can see that in the left panel we have production function in panel a this is production function and in and this panel 2 is total cost curve the total cost curve gets steeper as the amount of as the amount produced rises whereas the production function gets flatter as production rises so if we see the production function production function it is becoming flatter jaise jaise jo production hai wo increase ho rahi hai production function kaisa ban raha hai flatter और अगर हम टोटल कॉस्ट कर्व की बात करें इट इज बिकमिंग स्टीपर एज द प्रोडक्शन राइजेस एज द प्रोडक्शन राइजेस दीज चेंजेस इन स्लोप अकर फॉर द सेम रीजन हाई प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कुकीज मींस दैट कैरलिन्स किचन इज क्राउडेड विद मेनी वर्कर्स ये बात हमको पता है राइट right? and because the kitchen is crowded each additional worker adds less to production reflecting diminishing marginal product and therefore the production function is relatively flat so ye point hum already uh, pad uh, chuke hain that uh, high production of cookies means that kellen's kitchen is crowded with, with many workers right and because the kitchen is crowded so each additional worker adds less to the production right which reflects diminishing marginal product now we know that marginal product is the slope of production function is the slope of production function and it is diminishing and that is the reason production function is relatively flat so as production rises each additional worker contributes less to the production that means the slope of the production function that is the marginal product marginal product is continuously declining diminishing this is the slope of the production function which is diminishing and that is the reason production function is becoming flatter but now turn this logic around that when the kitchen is crowded producing an additional cookie requires a lot of additional labor and is thus very costly so when the kitchen is crowded producing an additional cookie requires a lot of additional you can say additional additional efforts additional efforts and is thus very costly therefore when the quantity produced is large the, the the total cost curve is relatively steeper to yahan par agar hum baat kare just a sec so as the quantity produced is increasing the total cost curve is becoming steeper because because when the kitchen is crowded so producing an additional cookie requires a lot of additional labor requires a lot of additional efforts and that is the reason the total cost curve is becoming steeper so that's all from my side thank you